and boy, I tell you, if it weren't for Ivory, what about Buster Screen? I mean, he played incredible today. I, I, I've never seen a guy over the field like that. He was blitzing, making tackles out at the corner position, covering their best receiver. This guy is special. With that, we're off and running. Welcome to Jets Post Game Live. I'm Brian Custer. That's Ray Lucas, Mike Westoff. That's Chad Cascadden. So the Jets are now three and one after that that win over the Miami Dolphins. But really, the story of the game was Chris Ivory back from the quad injury, and you see how much he means to this team. Career high for him: 29 carries, 166 yards rushing. He averaged 5.7 yards a carry and a touchdown. And as you guys pointed out, I mean, he we already know he runs physical, runs hard, but he gets hit and still keeps going for five, six more yeah, yards. And, but he's also the hitter. He's never taking a hit. He's always lowering that shoulder. We didn't take too much away from Blau Powell last week or Stacy, but when you're getting 5.7 yards a carry, Mike, yep. every time he touches it twice, he's moving the change. And I think that was one of the biggest things of today. They were going to set the tone running the football. And Willie Colon didn't play today. Brian Winters? Pretty good. A nice job. Pretty good. They and again, him out. no sacks. Well, I think the winning trip, Fitzpatrick Fripp, they count that as a sack, but literally no sacks by the offensive line. Thought they played real well. But again, Ivory, man, he is just a monster. You know what? He's, he's a beast. With